Good morning, everyone. This is Alan Will Becker, and uh, it's been a long time since I did a, I've done a book review. I realized um, that I am <laughs> like two books behind, I think, right now. And so I wanted to make time this morning to jump on here and do a book review for the book Wooden. And this book is lot, the, A Lifetime of, of Observations. Uh, on success or something like that by John Wooden and uh, oh Steve what's his name hold on a second let me um, go back to the top and Steve Jameson sorry about that a lifetime of observations and reflections on and off the court and this is a fantastic book um, Coach Wooden really exemplifies the, the spirit and the character of early 19th, 20th century Americans. Those that came out of the Great Depression and into um, World War II. The, the principles and characters, characteristics that helped this United States become a stronger, powerful country, and really, in a lot of ways, those same principles helped us to defend the free world. Hey, Joey. Um, so I'm going to take three quotes out of the book. There's, there's way more that I, that I pulled out, but I'm just going to use three today. Um, the first one is uh, his dad always told him, Never lie, never cheat, and never steal. And um, real simple. Uh, some people are going to say that's old-fashioned. Some people might say that it's um, out of date with with the way society is today. And um, what I can tell you is that people that live a principled life don't care what the sways of society are. Um, they care more about where they align themselves with truth. And really, John Wooden's book here is full of truth um, and great, great information. Uh, callbacks. Uh, he uses stories from his real life and from the life of his, his father and sometimes examples from some of his players um, from his UCLA team. Okay. The second one quote is, championships were never the cake. They were the icing. Doing your best was the cake. And really, in my own personal life, living and I should say learning to live a principled life because I'm, I'm still a young man. I still got plenty of years to, to learn and grow. Um, that has become something that I have learned to value is putting in the practice, putting in the effort. Um, and that he stresses a lot is more critical than what actually happens in the end. Um, if you look at his history, he coached, I think he coached UCLA for like 17 years and maybe it was longer. I, I'm not sure the exact long time frame. The point is, he coached a long time before UCLA started winning championships. Um, years and years. And the, the practice, the working at getting better, that is so critical to your own success. I've got four boys, and they say, oh, I'm no good at this. I'm like, this is like the third time you've tried to do this. You lack experience. And that's something that in today's society, people get beat up over. They do something one time and they're like, oh man, you're terrible. I can't believe you. What? No, you lack experience. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Continue working at it. Um, continue to get better. Your, your ultimate um, competition is your own self. I, I do encourage people to look at other people. Hey, Richard, I do encourage people to look at others looking for good examples. Um, 
we really should not, though, measure ourselves against someone else because different life story, different tra- problems, different um, different personal inclinations, different talents and abilities. There's a whole host of different things that that never line up to be the exact same. Um, and uh, the last one, the last one is uh, is a. Uh, um, Kind of cold, maybe, um, but it's if you're average, you're as close to the bottom as the top. Hey, Tabitha. So, if you're average, you're in the middle. You're not the worst. You're not the best. But you can always put in the effort. We can always put in the effort to get move from that average and move up and become better. Put in the work to be. The better man, the better ver- woman, the better version of your own self, and really, no matter what your belief system is, um, I think that is a critical component of a host of them. Is that personal constant improvement on yourself? Be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. It's the main point of books like *The Compound Effect* by Darren Hardy, I believe. And the slight edge, and I forget the author's name for that one, is that incremental little bit of work, little step at a time. And sometimes I know it feels like two steps forward, three steps back. But sometimes it's going to be a step forward and no steps back. Four steps forward, three steps back. You, your biggest competitor... Um, is the person in the mirror. And that's the person that you should be working on the most to beat. Um, it may mean that, you know, your your workout is one day this week. And your goal is five days or four days. My, I hope I, I hope I get this home. That success comes day by day, step by step. And that Coach Wooden's life is a great example of that because he just continued to practice the principles of success. He continued to practice and practice. Hey, Linda. And um, put in that work he he all throughout his book he always downplays um himself which is an attribute of humility which is not my topic for today um but that success comes and, and it takes work it takes messing up failing you know sleeping in through your alarm one day and then you're like ah and then you're late um it's it's worth it. It's absolutely worth the work. The results that you get as you move towards those goals pay off. Oh, it's little by little sometimes, but every now and then you get a nice surprise. Maybe it's definition in your arms if you're lifting weights. Maybe it's handling a family situation because you're working on um, how you interact with people and, and you're reading parenting books or you're reading a... a a marriage book. Um, maybe it's how you handle an interaction at work because of the things that you're learning. Um, so that's that's the gist of it, is that success takes time. It's worth it. It is absolutely worth it. Um, as Coach Wooden says, doing your best was the cake. My friends, thank you for spending time with me. If you get value from this video, please like and share it. Um, For motivational quotes every day, you can go to my Facebook group, The Tigers Club, uh, where I post in there. I've also got two other wonderful people that share some fantastic content in there. Um, If you want a book recommendation, you can either message me, drop a comment below, or message me on on a messenger, um, or... If you want a personalized one, we've got to talk because I, there's no way I can 
randomly pick a book for you. Um, or you can go to ironwill.net slash CS, and that is my website. And on there, on the upper, it's actually going to be, anyways, this still camera flip thing gets me a weird head out sometimes. So go there, top left page, top left of the page, uh, the first link says uh, self-education. There's a list of over 90 books that I highly recommend for business, personal development, per professional development, and also to better understand the financial system in the United States and the way that money works. Um, none of those are mine. There's no affiliate links. Just stuff that I can personally recommend because I've read it. So I hope you guys go out and make it a great weekend. We're rolling into March. Spring is just around the corner. And uh, it's going to be another great year. 2020 is going to be phenomenal. Thanks for spending time with me again. Catch you later.